Hey kids, it's me again. For today's video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate the price of a bond. Okay, let's start. By the way, what are bonds? Bonds are fixed income investments. They are interest bearing investments. They are generally issued by corporations or governmental units who want to raise money, okay? One way to borrow money is to issue bonds, okay? And bonds are generally redeemed at maturity date. What do you mean by redeemed? Kukunin na yung bond certificate, parang ganon. Okay, yung proof of loan, kukunin na. So that means the borrower will have to pay off the loan. Now let's have the following terms. Okay, we will use these terms in the discussion of bonds. Okay, the bond issuer. Okay, ang tawag doon or sila yung borrower. Okay, yung bumibili ng bond, uh, you imagine, when you buy a bond, naglabas ka ng pera. So, ikaw yung nagpahiram ng pera. You are the lender. Okay? Since ikaw nagpahiram ng pera, ikaw yung naglabas ng pera. You are the investor. Okay? Yun yung ibig sabihin ng you invest in a bond or you buy a bond. Nagpahiram ka ng pera. Okay? Next, we have this maturity date. Okay, it's just the end of the bond's term. So, sa redemption date, um, on that date, i-re-redeem yung bond. Ibig sabihin, ipipay off na yung loan. Okay? And then finally, we have these coupons. Okay? These are periodic interest payments made by the bond issuer or the borrower. Okay? Don't forget, the bond issuer is the borrower. They issue bonds because they want to borrow money. Okay? There are many types of bonds. We have here the accumulation bond and the coupon bond. Okay? Yung accumulation bond, it's a one-time payment. Usually, um, payment is made at maturity date. So, anong kasali dito sa one-time payment? Okay? So, ang meron dito sa one-time payment is the amount stated in the bond certificate. Okay? Later, I'll give you, I'll show you a sample bond certificate. Okay? And then, plus all the accumulated interest. Okay? Well, in the coupon bond, um, there are um, periodic payments called coupon. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, si borrower nagbibigay ng coupons kay lender. Okay? It's like our sinking fund method of loan repayment. We also have registered bond and unregistered bond. When you say registered, the name, the address, and other details about the lender is recorded by the borrower para alam ni borrower kung kanino siya magbabayad. Okay? But ganon. Kasi kapag unregistered or not recorded, unlisted yung bond, kapag may nakapulot ng bond certificate, pwedeng sa kanya na lang yun. Eh usually, if it's unregistered, naka-attach yung mga coupons. So pwede nilang i-detach yun and then, pupunta sila kung saan nila pwede yun ipa-end cash. Okay? So, sa kanila yun, it's like um, finders keepers. Now, let's have mortgage bond and debenture bond. Sa mortgage bond, may collateral. Okay? It can be a piece of land or your house. So, debenture bond, walang collateral. Okay? The only basis of the lender para pahiramin nila yung pera si borrower, is the credit rating of the borrower. Okay? So, it's like, um, okay ba sila sa pagbabayad? On time ba? Hindi ba sila tumatakas sa 
utang like that. Okay? All right. And we have more bonds here. Ta-da! Okay? Special mention to vanilla bond here. Okay? So, you just imagine um, a vanilla ice cream. Diba? It's plain white. It's very simple. Right? So, ganun lang din ibig sabihin ng vanilla bond. It's the simplest form of bond. Why? Because fixed lang ang mga coupons and defined ang maturity. Okay? So, bakit may special mention si Vanilla Bond? Well, I just remember a friend of mine who was applying for an acquired position in a company. Tapos, tinanong daw siya kung ano yung Vanilla Bond. So, baka itanong din sa inyo. Alright? Okay. Let's move on. Before we determine the bond price, let me introduce these notations. So, we have here an uppercase letter F. So, this is the par value or the face amount of the bond. If you check a bond certificate, ito yung amount na makikita mong nakaprint doon. Okay? So, that's your F. And we have this R, the coupon rate. Ito yung multiply ninyo. This is the interest rate that you're going to multiply to the face amount to get the amount of coupon. And then we have this letter C. This is the redemption value. Okay? Kapag matatapos na yung loan, okay, you, have, you are going to redeem the bond. Okay? Yan yung kailangang ibayad ni borrower kay lender. And usually, C is equal to the par value. Okay? C is equal to F. Okay? And this is the usual notations, the number of coupon periods to maturity. Okay, I, that's the effective yield rate. And then P is the price of the bond. Ano ba yung price of the bond? Ito yung amount of money na ipapahiram ni investor. Okay, ito yung amount of money para mabili mo yung bond. So, buy, you are the investor, you lend money. Okay? Okay, so we have here a sample bond certificate. It says here, the United States of America for value received promises to pay to the bearer the sum of $10,000. Okay, so who's the borrower here? It should be clear that the borrower is the United States of America. Okay, what about this? What is this $10,000? That is the par value or the face value of the bond. Okay? What about this 10 and 1 8 percent? What do you call that? That is the coupon rate. Okay? Or that is our lowercase letter R. Okay? So if that is the coupon rate, the 10 and 1 8 percent, Tuwing kailan naman magbabayad ng coupons. Okay? Nandito rin yan. Here. Okay? Interest payable, kailan? May 15 and November 15. So, twice a year. Okay? So, twice a year magbabayad ng coupons. Alright? So, kailan ang um, maturity date? Okay, ang maturity date ay ito. Here. November 15, 1994. Okay? Where is the price of the bond? Ito siya. Okay, value received. That is the amount being loaned by the USA. Okay, let's do the math now. Let's consider this time diagram. Okay? So, you see, you have a series of payments of FR. Okay? For N period. So, these are coupons. Alright? And then, 
at maturity, the bond will be redeemed. And the borrower has to pay this redemption amount to the lender. So this is the usual cash flow when you buy a bond. Okay? Again, bumili ka. Okay? Naglabas ka ng pera. So nag-invest ka sa bond. So how do we get the price of a bond? Ano ba ulit yung price of a bond? Ito yung price paid by the investor. Ito yung perang ipapahiram mo. Okay? So if you recall the equation of value, perang lalabas equals perang papasok. So ang perang ilalabas mo as an investor is the amount P. Ang kapalit ng P na yon, matatanggap mo ang mga cash flows na ito. So we have here a basic formula for the bond price. Okay? Tinatawag din itong Frank formula. We make use of T equals zero as our valuation date. Okay? So at time zero, ang perang lumabas kay investor, kay lender, okay, sa bumili ng bond is the amount P. Okay? Ito yung perang nilabas ni investor. Okay? Sa pagbili ng bond. Ang kapalit nun ay lahat ng ito. Okay? So, series of payments of FR lang naman yan. So, you have FR, A, angle N. And then, this single amount C, you carry it to time zero, you'll have C, V to the N. That's why you have this formula for the bond price. So, now, this C, V to the N, we let this to be K. Okay? So, ayun na. Nandiyan na yung Frank formula. You have F-R-A-N-K. Ginawa lang yan para you can easily remember the basic formula for the band price. Okay? Actually, we have other formulas in getting the band price. Aside from the basic formula or the Frank formula, we have these other bond pricing formulas. But all these formulas can be derived from the basic formula or from the Frank formula. Okay, let's establish this premium discount formula using the basic or the Frank formula. Okay, let us recall the Frank formula. It is P equals um, FR A angle N plus C, V to the N, right? Okay. And then, um, recall ninyo, saan ba equal lang A angle N? Diba? This one is equal to 1 minus V to the N all over I. Okay? So, I'm going to solve for V to the N. Okay? So from here, V to the N is equal to 1 minus I A angle N. All right? Okay, so let's continue here. So we have um, FR A angle N plus C times so I'm now going to replace V to the N by this one. Okay? So I'm going to have 1 minus I A angle N. Okay? So I think I'm just going to collect terms with A angle N. And I'm going to have, so here I have C and then plus FR, so yun, okay, minus C times I, okay, A angle N, okay? So, this is the premium discount formula. Okay, bakit siya tinawag na premium discount formula? Kasi dito, um, you compare the uh, value of P and value of C. 
if P is greater than C and you are the investor, for example, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ano ba yung P? Yun yung pinambili mo ng bond. Yun yung nilabas mong pera. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, yung nilabas mong pera, mas malaki kesa dun sa makukuha mo at redemption date. Okay? So, you say, the bond is bought at a premium. Okay? So, ito, you have a premium bond. Okay? Pero if P is less than C, so ibig sabihin, if you are, again, the investor, mas maliit yung nilabas mong pera, mas maliit yung pinambili mo doon sa bond kesa doon sa makukuha mo at redemption date, you have a discount bond. Naka-discount ka, kumbaga. Okay? Okay? Alright. Okay, let's move on to the second bond pricing formula. Actually, third. Kasi you have the basic formula and then this premium discount formula. So, moving on to our third bond pricing formula. Okay, we have this um, base amount formula. So, may bago dito, no? Here. G. So, G is the base amount of a bond. What do you mean by the base amount of a bond? So, this is the amount which, if invested at the yield rate I, would produce periodic interest payments equal to the coupons of the bond. Okay, again, how do we compute for the periodic interest? If G is the amount and I is the interest rate, we just get the product of G and I. Okay, and what about the coupons on the bond. Ano yon? It is F times R. So, ibig sabihin lang yan ito. Okay? GI is equal to FR. Okay? With this, we're going to derive the base amount formula from the franc formula again or from the basic um, formula. Okay? So, let's recall again. Um, FR A angle N plus C V to the N. Okay? And from this relationship, we can replace FR by GI. So I'm going to replace this by GI. Okay? And then Kapag tinignan nyo yung formula, wala yung A angle N, right? So, I'm going to replace A angle N here by 1 minus V to the N all over I plus CV to the N, okay? So, kakancel ko lang to. I think we were able to get the base amount formula, right? Kasi ito, so, we have a G. Okay? Tapos, we collect terms with V to the N. And then, we'll have positive C minus G. And then, and ito yung V to the N. Right? Okay. Let's now move on to the last bond pricing formula, which is the make ham formula. So, ano yung bago dito? Here. Okay? Ano kaya yung small letter G na yan? Okay? So, G is the modified coupon rate. Okay? And G is defined as the coupon amount divided by the redemption value. Okay? So, you have this. So, G is equal to FR divided by C. Right? Okay, so with this, we're going to derive the make -hum formula. Okay? Ganun pa rin. We recall the Frank formula. Okay? 
Okay? And then um, we may replace FR by C times G. Ito, oh. Okay? Okay. So this is C times G. Tapos, if you notice again, wala naman tong A angle N. So I'm going to replace A angle N by 1 minus V to the N all over I. And then don't forget the C V to the N. Okay? So I think um, replacing C V to the N by K, we have this may come formula ready. Okay? Kasi ito, ilalagay nyo lang to. It's G over I. Right? Okay. So you have um, G over I times, ipapasok ko lang tong C here. So I have C minus C times V to the N. You have C V to the N. So that is exactly K. And then plus, this one is also Okay, this is exactly the make up formula. All right? Okay. Okay, let's have some examples. So here, we have a 10-year bond. Okay, 10-year, 100 par value bond bearing a 10% coupon rate, payable semi-annually. And the bond is redeemable at 105. Okay? And it is bought to yield 8% convertible semi-annually. Find the price of the bond. Okay? If you have like this, it's better if you list down all the given. Okay? Uh, what is F? This is the par value. So it is clearly 100. Okay? What is R? This is the coupon rate. It's very clear then, right? It's 10%, but this is payable semi-annually, okay? So to get the effective rate for every six-month period, you divide it by 2. So R is equal to 5%, okay? What's next? Okay, what about I? That's the yield rate. It's also very clear. It's 8%, but you have to divide it by 2. Kasi parang yung 8% dyan, that's your I upper 2. Your I here is the effective rate per 6-month period. So that's why you have to divide 8% by 2 and you will get 4%. What else? Okay, what about C? Oh, it's 105, right? So we have here an example where C is not equal to F, okay? So pwede yun. What about N? Gano katagal yung bond? Gano mo katagal hahawakan yung bond if you are the investor? Gano katagal ang hihintayin mo bago mo makuha ang redemption amount na 105? It's a 10-year bond, pero the coupons are paid semi-annually. So that's why N is equal to 2 times 10, which is equal to 20. And then that's it. Using the Frank formula, let us recall the Frank formula, okay? You do the substitution, you do the math, you use your calculator, okay? So, I think nandito naman lahat, right? Yeah, okay? So, you should be getting that amount, okay? So, again, let me interpret this value. What do you mean by 115.8723? So, ibig sabihin nito, if you are the investor, you are the buyer of the bond. Okay? Ibig sabihin, binili mo yung bond at this price, at 115.8723. Okay? So, binili mo yan. Yan yung nilabas mong pera. Ang kapalit niyan, ang kapalit ng investment na yan sa bond ay makakatanggap ka every 6-month period ng 5% of 100. Ano yung 5% ng 100? It's 5. 5 units. So, every 6-month period for 10 years, 
Okay, makakatanggap ka ng 5555555. And then after 10 years, okay, kasabay nung last 5 units or last coupon na 5 units, kasabay nun matatanggap mo ang 105 na redemption value. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng value na ito. Naglabas ka ng 115.8723, ang kapalit nun, 105 sa dulo at 20 coupons. Okay? Na ang amount ay equal sa 5. Yung frank formula, sapat na yun to answer bond pricing problems. Okay? Um, special problem na kapag hinihingi yung paggamit ng other three uh, bond pricing formulas. Okay? Kagaya ng example na ito. Okay? Wala kayong ibang pwedeng gamitin kundi um, the base amount formula. Okay? Pero, kung hindi nyo yun memorize and you know how to derive it and then do it. Okay? So, mahalaga talagang alam niyo din kung paano mag-derive ng formulas. Alright? Okay, so this is the um, problem. A 1,000 par value end year bond maturing at par with 100 annual coupons is purchased for 1,110. Okay? K is equal to 450. What is K? That is the present value of the redemption value. Okay? Okay, let's list down some given here. Okay, since the bond matures at par, Ang ibig sabihin nun, your redemption value, the C, is equal to F. And what is F? F is equal to 1,000. Alright? Okay, what else? Your K, which is equal to CV raised to N, right, is equal to 450. So, here, we can compute for V to the N. Okay? So, I think yun lang yung gagamitin natin to find the base amount G. Okay? But before we continue, ano muna itong 100 dito? Okay? Ano to? Kasi alam na natin, ang 1,000, this is the um, par value or face amount of the bond. Itong 100, obviously, this is the coupons. Ito yung F times R. Okay? That's F times R. And then ito, 1,110, this is um, your P. Okay? Of course, N, this is the number of coupon payment period. Okay? Okay. Let's now recall the base amount formula. Okay? With this formula, you substitute all the given values. You'll have G equals 1,000. 200. Okay, that's it. That's all for bond pricing.